it's Lindsay Edwards and I am outside of Spare for our next Knock Knock Northumberland. We are episode 15, Downtown Workworth. We're gonna head inside, talk to Chef Doug Hope and Tina Bastis. And we are gonna learn about farm to table and all of the good stuff that they are providing to Northumberland and Workworth specifically. Let's go inside. Right? I met you through John Murray. And yet you still yeah. won't make me anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's where it all began, yeah. was John Murray at the Coburn. I'm right. Right. Yeah. When is your birthday? I'll make it so, I just passed it. Oh, I'm just a year away now. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so that's essentially, I think, what kind of connected us to Tina and then mm. Tina to you. So well, the market did, did as well. And right? to See? each other. It's all... Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, I, I was driving past Codrington and, and... I was working at the farmer's market. I was just hungry and it was just... <laughs> and you wanted Jill Murray, <laughs> well, right? Well, King, this King's home that we're I doing the beers again and oh, she, okay. was, she was working for them. Yeah. So I stopped by for a hamburger and that and then got talking and and I hadn't opened this place up yet. Right. It was, yeah, no. somewhere around September or something no, like that. No, it was in the summer. It was yeah. August, I think. And then I said I was going to be opening this place and and then she was planning on moving up this way. Because you were in Coburg at the time. Yeah. Still living in Coburg. Yeah. yeah. And then it just sort of. I hired and then her. I needed a job, so then I started working here. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't know that. And now I manage the place. Well, I mean, yeah, I always thought always. it was like, I thought it was always separate. She jokes about that <laughs> and from the beginning. People and then, like, what's your title, manager? <laughs> I. You know, I laughed He's about the chef, that. I'm the manager. Yeah. yeah it she, works. she goes, oh well, no, it was, it was your place. I'm like, yeah. Look at the napkins. I had them folded different, <laughs> and the first day you went and changed yeah, like, my napkin set. So you knew. <laughs> right then and just, there, it was. Yeah. Got you. She was the manager. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, in spare means what? It's not. So it's not spur. No, no not spur. <laughs> spur. Um, spare is uh, is a uh, is from the Latin derivative for hope. It was I, I had a nickname oh, that's there, so which, is last which name. was right. Romanians used to call me Speranza. Did you come here knowing that you were going to open open spare? Uh, yeah, well, I mean yeah. that was the okay. goal. So was the it was to find okay. a little town where yeah. I could do this kind of thing, and that was that was the hardest part. It's finding a, a little town that this wouldn't sit empty all day Absolutely. you know and every day because uh you know you, there, there isn't very many towns that you could put a restaurant like this in mm -hmm. and then i saw what it, you know these shops that they have here mm -hmm. and, and i thought this mm -hmm. is this Special isn't a regular stores. little town right there's something completely different about it. i didn't know what it was at first yeah so i did my research and checked the demographics and mm -hmm. and uh and all that kind of stuff and i thought Makes yeah sense. this is this this is a town that could could support a restaurant like this. Right. Well, I think that people were really looking to connect with the people who make the food. Right. So we're so fortunate that in Northumberland we have you know vegetable growers, meat um, producers, people growing saffron and things like that. So I think that initially we just started with farm to table dinners, right. showcasing what we did on our farm, and then realizing, wait a minute, there's so much other people mm -hmm. doing wonderful things like a mushroom farmer and and so we started doing producer dinners where we would have um, the producer come sit at the table with the guests and the that whole night would be featuring um, each course six courses isn't it six yeah. courses on six our producer courses, dinners yeah. um, and each course features something from the farm right and the guests get a chance to talk to the farmers yeah and I mean people it fills up it fills up for I those bet. night brunch I mean we didn't start out doing brunch but then we just found that it would be a good way to showcase what Doug does right. before people committed to the farm to table dinner, mm -hmm. um, which is a reservation only and you know a little bit more of their time. It's usually three hours and right. mm -hmm. eight, nine courses 
and um, a bit of wine. Yeah, which and is some wine. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> and company. I mean, we have a yeah. table that seats 16. So as people are, you know, I, I feel like people's interest is really growing in that they want to see exactly where their food comes from. Totally. So last year we started um, farm tours at our farm amazing and farm garden tours yeah. where we brought people out it was a cooking class actually mm -hmm. that night because doug also does cooking classes okay. um here at the restaurant with dinners so we thought why don't we bring people to the farm first do a little tour see the animals mm -hmm. see the goats play with the goats and whatnot and then um have them pick from the garden themselves and then bring it back to the restaurant and um, make, I think that one was pestos. Yeah, we made five, five different, different types of pestos. Okay. And mm -hmm. then we had uh, homemade pasta with the pesto as the final meal. So people mm -hmm. were so raving good. about it. Yeah. And unfortunately, we, and did that we just got, year? we did it once only. Okay. Well, it was once the whole deal, but yeah. we changed but it, the format of, like, I mean, you came to a, a cooking dem yep. demo with yeah, uh, we did the Tina. Yeah. But now the cooking demos, do them, are there. I, I like I mean it was like the pasta wine and dine so it's whatever wine and dine so okay. you come in and uh, it's, it's a cooking demo you get a glass of wine with included and a meal awesome. and so in Tina so you were in Coburg prior to work so I was in Coburg moved from Toronto came to Coburg okay. because family was there and then uh, started after I had my son I started working at the Coburg farmers market um, for a farmer mm -hmm. um, which is King's Home Farms okay. and he um, and then he's from this area, so just working for him, I would come up here, visit his farm, and start working on his farm. Okay. And then I just fell in love with Work Worth. Mm -hmm. I thought, what a little gem. Like, the town is a combination of people from Toronto and farmers. It's like a complete juxt juxtaposition mm -hmm. of that culture, right? Yeah. So you'll have farmers driving down Work Worth in their tractors with hay bales and you've got these you know the mercedes yeah the mercedes yeah, yeah. that are coming <laughs> like it's amazing and you know outside of um lucky stars you'll have horseback riders come and like get off their horses tie their horses really? and run in and get coffee yeah and it's just it's wonderful yeah. like it's it's a little bit of that and a little bit of culture from the city right together yeah. i feel like it's just everything i needed so I fell in love, so yeah. I moved. And on your farm, so you raise you raise some? Yeah, we do mainly birds. Okay. So we do chickens, what, turkeys, chickens, turkeys, ducks. We have some rabbits. Um, I've, well, we're not going to quail again, but we've done pheasants, uh, <laughs> guinea hen. Um, we might try a few different then, birds then this year, too. And, and we have and goats. And I milk the goats, but we don't use that for the restaurant or anything. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Like just other pets. pets. Yeah. yeah. Okay. If you ask a farmer or any her her garden is mainly weeds. <laughs> oh, they yeah. call them but, weeds, but but you can yeah. eat weeds, right? Like you last can. year, what did I do? I brought to the market. I made. Um, it wasn't a samosa, but it was the same shape of a samosa, yeah. and I filled it with um, like wild greens, like plantain and dandelion and stinging nettle, and I can't remember what mm. else I put in there, sorrel or whatever it was. Something anyway, like wild, all, like, sorrel, wild greens. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> so Amazing. I do it for the health, and then right. Doug's like, ooh, this has a good bite. This is really good. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm like, it's healthy. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> so I try to grow as much as I can yeah. to garnish the plate, to add flavor to the plate. Doug tells me, oh, these flowers were really nice last year. Can I have more of those? And like, so it's great because it's our salads in the there. summer are just gorgeous yeah. with all the edible flowers and, you know, different things that we bring in. Um, yeah, it's beautiful. Well, thanks for doing this for us oh, or with well, us. Thank you. For coming thank up. you. It's, yeah, my pleasure. It's great. I love your knock knock videos. Hey, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's fun, and that's what like I said to you earlier. Like, it's just I've met so many awesome people like just through the knock knock. Yeah. But yeah, I'm all about obviously um, just supporting local and. The more the more people that that's can stay and come yeah. and enjoy locally mm. yeah and i think we do we do overlook like i was saying people ask me what are you going to plant in your garden that's exotic right. we don't need exotic exactly. things yeah because what we have here in our own area oh, right we just ignore it we walk past it because yeah. uh same old, shinier, right, right? but is. there there's yeah. so many businesses yeah. here so much going on here right that we just need to uncover and spend a little more time Absolutely. Yeah, people you don't know? see yeah. what's in front of their nose sometimes. Yeah. And but and that's that's the whole part of or the whole point of of knock knock. It's 
yeah, reveling in what we have in Northumberland and and kind of showcasing it. Doing a good it. job so, on it. Well, thank you. You've and you guys are doing a good job here, so that's why that's <laughs> why we're you. here. I'm I'm excited to have dinner tonight, and I know mm. the girls are and Jeff yes. is and yeah. the boys who've probably never been to work with either. No, they haven't. <laughs> so it's fun. Thanks, oh, guys. Thank you, Lindsay. No problem. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, guys.